Today we're with John Mariani. Always a pleasure to speak to, to find out something gastronomic. John, good to see you. Now I understand, John, you are you are on your way to Italy tomorrow, as early as tomorrow. Is that correct? It's the maverick life I've chosen, yes. <laughs> you you vagabond, you. That's me. Yeah. Um, so is this business or pleasure, or as usual, you mixing business and pleasure, and you're going to give us a review of Italy, etc.? Yeah, I mean, my business is the pleasure of my readers and viewers, of course, because I find out what you should be seeing, what you should be doing, and what you shouldn't. And uh, Italy is a very good example at this time of the year. Um, I'm going specifically because we were invited to a wedding, my wife and I were. Uh, which is uh, taking place in uh, Lecce, which is all the way on the Adriatic coast. <clears throat> but, you know, any time you're going to go to spend the kind of money you have to for airline tickets and cars and stuff, you might as well spend another 10 days there, which we are doing. And uh, we're going from basically landing in Rome all the way across for three leisurely days, go to the wedding and then up the Adriatic coast um, to uh, the, the, Abru the Abruzzo region where my people came from and Vasto, which is specifically specifically the town that my people on my father's side came from, and then head leisurely back to uh, Rome and, and take off. So uh, it'll be a lovely 10 days. Hmm. That, that will be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you still have relatives that you know that you're connected to? No, the last couple of times I was in Vasto, which was years ago now, um, there was no one left, but I did find a friend, a very old man, who had been friends with my grandfather when he was a kid, and oh, that's that's I mentioned his name, he like fell down, and oh, Michelangelo Mario, <laughs> and he invited us in and gave us a... Uh, some Asti Spumanti or something. It was a wonderful moment. But I did go to the civil, and I, I highly recommend this. If you have, if you're Italian and have uh, people who came from various cities, I mean, you, you meet so many people who are named Joe Salerno. Well, he was from Salerno or yeah. John Napoli. He's from Naples or wherever. And uh, by and large, I went, we went to school with a guy, Phil, uh, Bill Ancona, uh, Pete Ancona, and his people were from Ancona. It is very well worthwhile to go to to the local civil hall and there's always somebody there who will speak English and said could I possibly look at the files on my family who left yes. in yes. 95 and uh, unless they were bombed out of submission in World War II they're still there hmm. so uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be uh, 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 traveling to places you mostly been before in one at one time or another but is there anything special that you're looking forward to sampling or trying uh, either new or uh, an old haunt that you, know, you have great memories of? Well, the, the ones I have great memories of, uh, yes, I will uh, be visiting again. Um, a lot of this has to do with uh, roots. And I want to say uh, something about traveling to Italy at the moment. I've been on this show in the past and saying tourism has ruined Italy as it has Greece and Barcelona and so many other places just ruin it. You did. I would say to go to Rome, Venice, Florence, <clears throat> numerous other places of popular tourist destinations in Italy is absolutely boneheaded during the summer. Boneheaded. Everything is more expensive. Everything is more crowded. Um, it's a terrible idea. It is much too hot. So I am now going. It's when I'm recording this program. It's uh, September, and uh, having checked. The, uh, rather, if, if this wedding were taking place in July, I would not be going. I'd make up an excuse. Um, but now I have checked the weather, and what it is over there is exactly what it is over here at the moment. Um, you know, Italy is about the same uh, longitude and, la and, and latitude as much of the middle Atlantic states. So um, it's never going to be above 80, 82, 83. Um, uh, and mostly in the 70s and nights. So this is a perfect time to go. Second of all, prices are way down. I mean, you look up a hotel uh, in Rome in, uh, in August or July, and you're going to be paying, or even in September, you're going to be paying $350 for a crummy hotel. Okay? Now, that's been reduced by half. But when you're traveling outside of Rome, which we intend to do, we intend to land in Fiumicino Airport, 
rent a car, and I want to say something about renting a car too, um, rent a car, and then immediately leave from the airport and head east. We're not even going into Rome, which is a miasma, um, so we're just going to be heading east. And um, the prices for cars, I mean, I can't believe it. we're talking about $7,900 for a week. You know? Wow. Now, you, um, it, it's just amazing. Um, and that if you want an automatic shift, um, uh, then the, the prices go up from there considerably. Um, you should also think of uh, buying the full coverage for insurance, which is, uh, we're paying about seven bucks a day, which is nothing for 10 days, $70. And at the end of the uh, trip, you could drive it over a cliff if you want, and you just don't have to pay anything. Um, because I checked with Amex and MasterCard, which depending upon if you have platinum, gold, black, whatever card, they will cover some of casualty um, and collision, but not always. And I found out that mine didn't cover all of that. So for another seven dollars a day, yeah, uh, peace of mind. World. Um, the other thing is that the hotels have become very, very cheap <clears throat> along the way. Um, we're staying in maybe the nicest hotel in um, in Frascati and uh, Vasto and other places for the nicest for uh, like 115 bucks, 120 bucks. If you want to spend $200, you have the hotel, whole hotel to yourself. Because this is, this is the off season, although this season has very much extended uh, in, the, uh, in Italy uh, into September and even to October. Um, so those are things you should keep in mind. Um, I mean, it's, it's just dirt cheap. It's like getting a really nice hotel for what you pay for a budget motel in Wichita, Kansas. Um, okay? um, as for renting a car, as I said, there are myriad um, rent-a-car agencies, including Hertz and Avis and Eurocar. But if you go to um, a Discovery, it's called Discovery. Discovery is a some kind of um, umbrella car rental agency that uh, covers uh, other uh, local rent-a-car agencies um, that charge much, much, much lower prices. Um, that's a very good idea. Um, as for restaurants, as I said before, and this, this applies even to Rome and, and Venice, that you're going to eat extremely well per person in uh, Italy for $50 a person. That includes tax and service, by the way, okay? Because pastas over there are still 12 to $18 in a really ritzy restaurant. You may spend $24, $25 for a pasta portion, per pasta, um, but that's what it costs. You know, the veal is going to cost you $23, $24. Uh, seafood yeah. will cost you about that. Uh, the prices are just remarkably lower. And the wine prices are uh, also, if you, it used to be that if you drank the table wine of the house, uh, it was plunk. Uh, but that's years and years ago. Now, even little trattorias have good wine lists. And what they're serving by the Caraf is they're very proudly there local wine. So if you're in Frascati, you're going to be getting good Frascati from the neighborhood, which is being served by the uh, patron, the padron of the, uh, of the, uh, uh, the trattoria. So prices are down right now uh, on everything, hotels, rent cars, um, um, food. Um, the highways are not going to be as crowded. The cities will not be as crowded. It's not going to be as hot. Um, now, also one thing, um, if you are renting a car, you have to understand, you can look this up online, I don't expect you to remember it right now, but um, if you see a space, it looks like a parking space, and it's painted white, white stripes, that means you can park there free of charge all day, unless the sign says only from 6 to 12, okay? If it's blue, that means you can park there, but you have to pay. Um, a nominal amount outside of the big cities. Um, a euro will get you two or three hours uh, of time, okay? Um, best thing to do is to get a local uh, a Euro European app um, you can download when you get there, and you can ask for it. You can ask for it when you get to the rental car agency, and that will allow you to use, just as you have in, in the United States, uh, an app. Otherwise, bringing a lot of coins is uh, important. If you see pink lines, 
That's for pregnant women and nursing mothers only. So <laughs> you can prove that, John or, or Art. Um, uh, don't, don't park in the pink, pink lanes. And then the yellows are uh, for disabled people. As I said, I don't expect you to um, memorize this, but it's, 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 it's all online. And uh, what sounds crazy confusing because it's not written in English uh, is really not so. It's color, color coordinated. OK, so there you go. So all the reason <laughs> in the world to go to Italy right now, stay out of the big city, cities still. Um, if you've been to Rome, if you've never been to Rome, go to Rome. If you've never been to Venice, go to Venice. If never been to Florence, go to Florence. But if you have, that's what I intend to do. I'm driving from Fiumicino Airport all the way east of the Adriatic, stopping at a leisurely pace over three days. I only have one hotel reserved because I don't know where I'm going to end up the next night. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's easy to do online these days. I, I do recommend Trivago because Trivago uh, is, is an umbrella organization <clears throat> that covers Expedia and, and hotels and so forth, and uh, that's how I book things. Or once you get <clears throat> the name of the hotel itself, um, you can even contact them directly on their website. Yeah. Maybe even get better or, or an upgrade or something. Because this is the time of year when they really need the business. Great yeah. advice. Great advice. I wish I could drop everything and come with you. But I, I didn't get an invite to the wedding, so. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.